What's up guys? It is Sam here and I wanted to talk about Robinhood. Robinhood is the absolutely free trading platform, uh, brokerage platform. And uh, before I do that, make sure you press that subscribe button and uh, that thumbs up button. <clears throat> also, if you uh, want to trade for free, um, there's a link in the description. I don't think if you if you want to invest, I wouldn't say that you should probably trade unless you know what the fuck you're doing. Um, but uh, you'll probably lose money. Most people do. But if you wanted to invest, right, and you just put away a little bit of money every single week, uh, like take 20 bucks or 50 bucks or 150 bucks out of your check or every two weeks or whatever you get paid and just invest it into a low cost ETF of some sort for the next, you know, 40 years or 20 years or whatever the case is, you'll put yourself in a great spot financially speaking. But with that being said, by the way, there's a free, so if you use a link in the description, you get a free share of stock if you sign up. So do I, but I don't you, don't, you don't have to use my link at all. I just think it's a great fucking platform. All right, so the, it's great because it's free. So I wanted to talk about some of like the little nuances on, um, on the actual platform. So when you have it up, um, I don't know if this does this on the app too. I'm using it on my computer and my phone. I just go back and forth. Let's see. On, on the phone, it's corrected. But on the website, it's not. It's weird. So I don't know if you can see this. But I have my account balances. Right? These are my positions that are open, right? And these are options. And you can see, right, green is positive, it's positive, it's positive, it's positive. Oh, there's two there that are red that are negative, right? Like, that makes intuitive sense, right? Green is good, red is bad, right? And, and then there's an associated negative thing. Now, if you go to the actual website, Robinhood.com, it's not so intuitive. Um, and I'm, I'm like, I pulled up my account here, and I'm just going to show you. So first of all... Let me just show you. I'll just refresh the page so you get to see. I'm just refreshing it now. It's going to load. Okay, so come over here, right? So right here, positive. Why is it in fucking red? Does that does that make any sense? We just looked at the exact same thing on my phone. Okay, again, positive into some red. What the fuck is going on? Positive into red. This is green. It's a negative. What the fuck is going on? This one's... Look at this, right? There's just no fucking consistency. This is positive, right? $150. This is negative $13. However, they're both green. And then you come down here, red, negative, red, positive. Like, what the fuck is Robin Hood doing? If you guys, uh, if you guys watch this or if you have know anybody who works at Robin Hood, uh, share this video with them. Like, clearly they, I know they're a relatively new company, you know, in the last five, six years or something like that, but um, I mean, just small things like that. You'll notice. Uh, I still love the, love being able to trade for free. Like that's amazing. Um, and if you want to invest in, for the long term, like I wouldn't recommend anybody trade unless they really fucking know what they're doing. But if you want to invest a small amount per week or every two weeks into an ETF of some sort, just an index fund, a low cost index fund, like kudos, you should do that, and you should do it at the lowest cost pos possible. Um, so not only can you use Robinhood, which is absolutely free t to trade, but you can purchase something like uh, VTSAX or uh, Fidelity came out with a, uh, a S&P 500, I think it is, index that has a zero expense ratio. So you get to trade for a fee and you get to actually purchase the ETF that doesn't cost you anything to manage. So you get the best of both worlds on that one. Um, definitely, definitely the best way to go in my opinion. But the little nuance, things like this, um, is, is that's, I mean, it seems so juvenile, right? Like if something's been out for six something years, you would think that somebody would have put a little, little, just like a tiny modicum of thought into creating like a, a UI or like user interface that like is intuitive, right? Green, good, red, bad. But it's green negative and green positive. Like, what the fuck does that mean? You know? Let me think. So, if negative. No, it doesn't even make sense. So, uh, those the one where it's green and one's negative, one's positive. Uh, one is on Netflix. is a spread on Netflix. And then a, um, a spread on Amazon. Amazon's down for the day and Netflix is up on the day. So, that doesn't even make sense why that would be like that. I, I just, I don't. 
I don't get it. Maybe maybe it's that position moved positively during the day, potentially. So if you have a position that's open and it's already negative, but then it's starting to go positive, maybe it just, I don't think this is like a very intelligent or thought out way of doing this. So if you know somebody who works at Robinhood, if you know somebody else in this arena, share this video with them so that we can get this um, changed or so that I can get this changed so it's not so annoying. It worked, I mean, it's correct on the phone. Like you can see the same um, account balance and everything like that here, the 7,700, but it's just, it's, it makes sense on here on the phone. And there's the two positions, but they're both negative. On here, it looks different than it does on the computer. Doesn't It just doesn't make any sense, um, the intuition. Or at least, right, like if you're going to stay with that intuition that just seems all fucking weird to me because I don't understand why you would have the positions listed like that, then you should probably stick to the same design language for the app, right? Because you're just going to create confusion for consumers who use both. Right? Like if you're going to do dumb shit on the, on the website, you should probably also do dumb shit on the app so that there's at least some type of consistency, but no, not at all. Anyways, make sure you press that thumbs up button. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share this with somebody who works at Robinhood. I want somebody at Robinhood to get this shit corrected. Um, so share this with somebody who works at Robinhood. Leave me a comment if you have any questions down below. I have an update video on my performance. It's crazy. It's cray cray. Uh, the amount of, uh, progress that I've made with my options trading in the last uh, 29 days. Absolutely fucking astonishing. So if you guys have any questions about that, leave them down below. Also, my link to Amazon, or not to Amazon, well, that too, but my link to Instagram is in the description. Reach out to me on Instagram and say what's up if you don't want to leave your comment down below. Peace.